okay so again guys this is a pretty much simple practical okay only three three examples are there that means uh, in the uh, binomial distribution in the fitting of binomial distribution you have to just uh, solve that three example in that particular practical and in the uh, next one that is in the poison distribution you have to also solve the three examples right and uh, the method is also simple not not very hard okay uh, the practice the marks will be five marks the example will be for five marks okay so please try to focus right and understand right how to solve uh, this kind of the examples okay so for, uh, let's discuss what is the step right if they have given me the example of this particular uh, type type of the question right suppose let's they have given me uh, some kind of the frequency distribution okay and they are asking me uh, so before starting I, I want to just clarify whether I am audible to you all and screen is visible right screen is also visible okay yes so <clears throat> they will ask the question that is feet feet a binomial distribution fit a binomial distribution for the following data this kind of the question they can ask for the following data also find also find the expected frequency also find the expected frequencies right so this is this is the question which they can ask so this kind of the question generally ask for the fitting of the binomial distribution okay now how we can solve this so first understand before starting we must have the basic knowledge of the binomial distribution okay so that means what is the pmf of the binomial distribution right uh, and uh, mean of the binomial distribution this kind of the knowledge you must have right so we will just start with a step without wasting time the first step is step one step one is identify the random variable from the given frequency distribution okay you have to identify the random variable identify the random variable from the given frequency given frequency distribution okay that is the step first step second what is my step second name step second is you have to assume the variable whichever given it is a follows binomial distribution with parameter n and p this is very important huh? what are my parameters of the binomial distribution it is n and p okay parameter of the binomial distribution right and you must know the probability mass function of the binomial distribution okay probability mass function of the binomial distribution yes so what is the probability mass function it is probability of x equals to x equals to what n c x p raised to x q raised to n minus x and uh, what the values x is taking what is the range it start from 0 and ends on n right because this is no this is the finite discrete distribution binomial distribution is finite discrete distribution okay I, here i have the finite values it taking the finite values of the random variable so this it is equals to zero otherwise right so that is a simple probability mass function of the binomial distribution okay now what is the next step <clears throat> step three is
find small m okay step 4 <clears throat> you have to find x bar okay so just make a frequency distribution make a column that means from all the data now they will give you the values that is of x and m right this kind of the data they they, they are giving to you now from this you will just find mean and variance okay by using a simple right simple method you already know how to find mean and variance right of a frequency distribution so you need to find that so how you can find them these are my values of x f you have to make the column that is x i into f i right you will make this column x i into f i and after making this column you will find summation of right summation of all these you will find the summation of all these you have to find total of all these right so this means in this column i will get summation of f i in this column i will get summation of x i into f i and from this i can find out x bar right mean so what is mean it is summation of x i f i upon summation of f i and that will be equals to summation of x i f i upon capital l okay now here you need to understand one thing that is expectation of x equals to x bar okay expectation of x equals to x bar but can you tell me what is the expectation of x of binomial distribution yes guys <clears throat> what is mean of binomial distribution hum nikal dekha tha already kya tha mean nikala bhi tha by using the formula right the formula is summation of x into p of x yahan pe humne probability mass function dala tha first binomial distribution ka kya tha wo en c x p raised to x q raised to n minus x jab hum solve karte hai tab hamara expectation of x kya aata hai it will be n p right and this value we are just putting here okay so that means what i will get n p equals to x bar what n p equals to x bar so if n p equals to x bar <coughs> right if n p equals to x bar then what will be p estimate yes n p equals to x bar then what will be p estimate p estimate will be x bar upon n right so from this i will get the value of p estimate right where p estimate is what it is the estimate of the p okay then step 5 dekho aapko abhi shayad samajh mein nahi aa raha hoga lekin jab aap actual mein question solve karoge na ye tab aapko samajh mein aayega ki steps actual mein kya hai theek hai we will try to solve the question then you will understand right what exactly we are doing then step 5 is you have to find probability of x equals to 0 find probability of x equals to 0 now how we are finding this probability okay probability of x equals to 0 it is q raised to n but how we are getting this how we are getting this we are getting this by using the we are getting this by using the recurrence relation okay we are getting this by using the recurrence relation right so this is from step 2 we are getting this from step 2 if we substitute 0 right in the value so that will be q raised to n now <coughs> step 6 is step 6 is 
you have to find the remaining uh, probabilities by using the recurrence relation okay now recurrence relation you already know probability of x plus 1 equals to what n minus x upon x plus 1 into p by q probability of x that means suppose i i i know the value of probability of x equals to 0 okay but i have to find this probability that means i have to find out probability of x equals to 1 then how i can find out i will just substitute 0 here okay so that means what will do i do i will do x, the uh, substitute the value of x equals to 0 so here i get probability of 1 equals to n right minus 0 upon 1 that means n right into p by q into probability of 0 that means suppose i know the value of n p and q so i can easily find out the probability of 1 because probability of 0 i already know right yes so that is the step 6 and now i have to find the expected frequency so that is my step step 7 step 7 is what find expected frequencies yes find expected frequencies so what is expected frequencies then the expected frequencies are nothing but the capital n into probabilities that means the all the the all the probabilities which i will get i will just multiply it by capital n okay and that was that all will be my expected frequencies okay and then step 8 so from all these you have to prepare a table right prepare a table okay prepare a table for the following expected frequency that means you have, we will just prepare a table right from you just step the company up the right all the seven steps from this we will we are just preparing the table according to these steps okay so uh, how the table we will look like so first we will make x and f right first x here then we will make the table of n minus x upon x plus 1 okay into p by q right this will be your another one table then the next will be it will be of probabilities and then last table will be of the yes what will be that it will be expected frequency so that means you will just multiply this column by capital n and then you will get the expected frequency okay so that was all the steps right of doing or of solving such kind of the examples okay now let's take one example okay so they have given me one table one frequency distribution so example is again similar what is example so fit a binomial distribution for following for following data okay also find expected frequencies okay expected frequency so this is the example suppose the data which is given the values are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay 
so these are my number of returns and the frequencies are that is number of stores are 4 31 20 18 14 8 and 5 okay this is the example i have to just fit a binomial distribution for this data and find the expected frequencies so what i can do so simple thing you have to just make the column that is first find mean and variance right from this data okay so what is how we can find out mean take values of x take values of f take values of xi into fi and then take the values of xi fi square sorry is it correct xi fi square yes students is it correct here it will be x i square into f i okay yeah so just make that 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 right my frequencies are 4 31 20 18 14 8 and 5 yes now just do the multiplication what it will become first will be what 0 right 31 40 then 54 14 14 into 4 56 right Now solve this. Just make this column and tell me what are the summation which we are getting. Solve first. Now after getting this column, you have to find mean. What is formula of mean? X bar is what? Summation of xi fi upon capital N. That you have to find then after that you have to find variance now how we can find out variance then variance of x is equals to what it is summation of x i square into f i upon capital n minus x bar square and for finding this you know you must need to find this batao fir kya aaya summation ka aaya x i f i ka करो जल्दी फास्ट ओके यस एक्स आई स्क्वायर ये फाइ का कॉलम बताओ जल्दी यस व्हाट इस फर्स्ट वैल्यू फर्स्ट वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स आई स्क्वायर ये फाइ यस यस व्हाट यस सेकंड वैल्यू या थर्ड एटी राइट Okay. Then one sixty two. Okay, then. Next value is what? 4 square into 56. Okay. And then 
200 and last 180 right correct yes uh, now do the summation of this x i f i just tell me what it is just do the sum of this and sum of x i square f i you need to do the sum of f column also huh? because you want capital n again yes, summation of x i f i Two fifty one. Yes, correct. X I square F I This is eight seventy seven. Okay, and tell me frequency capital N is what? Nikola, I guess any capital N or not. Capital N is 100, okay, right. Yes, so the capital N is 100. Yes, not just do this calculation. So, X bar will be what? It will be 251 divided by 100, right. So, what will be this value then? Right, two and two point fifty one. Okay, and here this will be eight seventy seven divided by hundred minus two point fifty one bracket square, and this will be eight point seventy seven minus this square. So this square, you need to find this square. Okay. Yeah, so what is square? 2.51 square. Just find that, okay? And then your answer will be 2.46. Okay? So that is my variance of x. Okay? Okay, now in the procedure, right, what we have done up till now, we have already find it, right, this procedure up till this we have done, right, we have find the column, the expectation of x, the next step is what, np equals to x bar, that is my next step, that means p estimate equals to what, x bar upon n, so same I am using here, right, I will just find out the p estimate, just tell me, so what will be p estimate then? It is x bar upon n. x bar, the value of x bar we already know, right? It is 2.51. So that will be 2.51 divided by what will be n? Tell me what is the value of small n? What is small n here? n is 6 okay n is nothing but the it is the highest value of the x n is the highest value of x so n will be 6 here so that is 2.51 divided by 6 so p estimate will be 0 0.4183 okay if you just divide this you will get this p estimate okay that is 0 
now from the p estimate i can get q estimate so what is that you already know right what is the relation between p and q p plus q equals to 1 right in the binomial distribution so same we are using this so q estimate will be 1 minus p estimate so that will be 1 minus 0 0.4183 and that will be equals to what if you do this subtraction you will get 0 0.5816 right that is my q estimate okay that is the answer q estimate will be 0 0.58 this now after getting q estimate what we have seen here we can find this right probability of x equals to 0 what it is it is q raised to n so you can find that so what is probability of x equals to 0 it is q raised to n that means 0 0.5816 raised to n that means raised to 6 we can use the, use the calculator and solve this simply and also uh, in today's offline lecture please come with a calculator okay Science, scientific calculator Yes, tell me what is this power? That is zero point zero three eight seven. Okay, so that is my probability of x equals to zero. And when I got this probability, then I will construct a fitting of the binomial distribution. I will make that column now. So the first is the x, then f, then n minus x upon x plus 1 into p by q and then probability of x, then summation of expectation of f, right, where what it is, expectation of f means n into probability of x. So here are my values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right, the value with respect to frequencies are 4, 31, 20, 18, 14, 8, and 5. Right. Yes. Now find out this then. What will be this value? Yeah, minus x into upon x plus 1 into p by q. Kya ho gai? Batao jaldi. You have to just substitute the values. Okay n is what 6 minus x x ki kya hai value 0 6 minus 0 divided by x is what x is again 0 plus 1 so that means divided by 1 into p by q right p now value of the p and q already know right this is p and this is q you have to just substitute the value so when you do this calculation you will get the values so which is 4.3153 this will be my value and this is p of 0 what is p of 0 what is p of 0 here already the values are we have calculated right so that is 0 0.0387 Okay. This column we will find later. Here you have to just multiply this, right? This probability is by capital N in this particular column. 
ओके हेलो आर यू गेटिंग दिस और नॉट बै के अपन आतापर्यत एक्स एफ ऐसी वैल्यूज कैसे कैलक्युलेट के एक्स एंड एफ ऑलरेडी अपने क्या होता राइट एक्जाम्पल मध्य डायरेक्ट आता हा से कॉलम कस फाइन आउट करना सॉरी थर्ड कॉलम एन माइनस एक्स इंटू डिवाइड बाय एक्स प्लस वन इंटू पी बाय क्यू ठीक है तो क्या करना तुम्हें एन माइनस एक्स एन ची वैल्यू सब्सिट्यूट करा ठीक है एक्स ची एक्स एक्स ची वैल्यू एक्स ची वैल्यू क्या आना इतना आता जीरो राइट कारण फर्स्ट वैल्यू जीरो है मजी एन ची वैल्यू सिक्स ऑलरेडी होती आता सो क्या सिक्स मैनस जीरो अपॉन जीरो प्लस वन राइट इंटू पी बाय क्यू मे आल सिक्स इंटू पी बाय क्यू सो पी आ क्यू ऐसी वैल्यू फिर सब्सिट्यूट करा जे आंसर तुम फाइनल आंसर ठीक है पी ऑफ जीरो ऑलरेडी अपने कहीं दिल्ली है सो विच इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री एट सेवन ओके दैट्स इट सिमिलरली हि वैल्यू सुधा फाइंड आउट करा तुम तुम्हारे एन मैनस सिमिलरली क्या क्या मे इत का आता सेकंडला सिक्स मैनस वन अपॉन वन प्लस वन इंटू पी बाई ओके फाइनल ठीक है आज सो सग सुरुआती हा सग्या वैल्यू फाइंड आउट कराए एन मैनस एक्स ऐसी फिर वैल्यू सब्सिट्यूट करा जीरो ची ठीक है एक्स ऐसी वैल्यू ये सब्सिट्यूट कर एन ऐसी वैल्यूज पी बाय क्यू सो हा कॉलम तुम्हारा मिले नर हा कॉलम राइट प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स कशा फाइंड आउट करता है तो फर्स्ट अपलोड ऑलरेडी महत्ति है राइट सो हिंदी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री एट सेवन सो मेरा नेक्स्ट प्रोबेबिलिटी कैसी मिलना यस इट इज द मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ धीस टू राइट बिकॉज वी विल यूज रेकरन्स रिनेशन ही क्या ओके बेहद दोगी मल्टीप्लिकेशन कर वैल्यू ये हि वैल्यू आया नर हा दोनों वैल्यू से परत मल्टीप्लिकेशन कराएँ ती वैल्यू इत पर दोगी मल्टीप्लिकेशन हि वैल्यू इत राइट अस कर सग प्रोबिटीज मिलती राइट एंड जो हि प्रोबिटी जर तुम्हारा चेक कराए कि प्रोबिटीज करेक्ट है कि नहीं ठीक है तो क्या करता तुम्हें हे समेन फाइंड आउट करता राइट सो दैट मीन्स समेन ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स एंड दिस मस्ट बी इक्वल्स टू वन ओके जो आंसर जीरो पॉइंट नाइन 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 समथिंग ये तुम सब समझा कि आंसर करेक्ट है ठीक है एंड देन इत का एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रिक्वेन्सी फिर कैपिटल एल मल्टीप्लाय करता राइट कैपिटल एन कि तुम इत हंड्रेड राइट हा जे प्रोबिटीज आया फिर हंड्रेड ने मल्टीप्लाय कराए तुम्हें सगे एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रिक्वेन्सीज है जेव तुम्हें ये समेन घता तो ये सुधा हंड्रेड आज एप्रॉक्सिमेटली नाइंटी नाइन पॉइंट नाइंटी नाइन समथिंग आई पाजे तो तुम एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रिक्वेन्सी करेक्ट आती एंड दैट्स इट युअर क्वेश्चन इज सॉल्व ये मतलब जो फिटिंग ऑफ बायोनोमिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एकदम लास्टला एक्सपेक्टेशन आल पाइन प्रॉबलिटी जी सम इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो नाइंटी नाइन आनी जी समेन है ती जर 99 पॉइंट समथिंग आली तर तुम आंसर करेक्ट ओके ठीक है एक्जाम्पल पर ऑफलाइन आज डिस्कस करू ठीक है पॉइजन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन जे है ओके फिटिंग ऑफ पॉइजन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन डिस्कस करू ओके लास्ट कॉलम कैसे कैलक्युलेट करना लास्ट कॉलम में सिर्फ कैपिटल एन से मल्टीप्लाई करना है बस हाँ वही 
वही फॉर्मूला यूज करना है लास्ट वालों में मतलब क्या ओके आई विल टेल यू अगेन देखो लास्ट कॉलम में आपको ये प्रोबेबिलिटीज मिलेगी ठीक है प्रोबेबिलिटीज मिलेगी लास्ट सेकंड लास्ट कॉलम में तो इस प्रोबेबिलिटीज को सिर्फ कैपिटल एन जो होगा ना आपको उससे मल्टीप्लाई करना है बस ओके यू विल जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉलम बाय कैपिटल एन समझा अभी कैपिटल कैपिटल एन क्या है हंड्रेड तो हंड्रेड से मल्टीप्लाई करना बस दैट्स इट Yes, we will take this uh, example again in the offline lecture. Okay, I think I don't have today offline lecture, but yes, we will try to manage. Okay, then thank you. You can leave this class.